Hi people, how are you all? So today I am doing some fan art for Netflix's The Witcher, which somehow took me nearly seven hours, which is strange because it didn't feel like it at all, it felt like, you know, normal length of time I spend on a painting, but apparently it was nearly seven hours. But oh well, here we are. Now The Witcher on Netflix is kind of controversial and I can pretty much only find bad reviews on YouTube, which sort of sucks given I went and got emotionally attached to uh, quite a few of the characters. But because of that I'm not going to discuss it, particularly season 2, in too much detail because this is an art channel and I don't want people putting too many grumpy comments and starting arguments and stuff. So I will just quickly touch on two things that I observed in watching it and then move on to the painting. Firstly, I absolutely acknowledge that witches themselves were handled disastrously in season 2. I read the first two books now and poor Eskel deserved better than this. Plus the idea of there only being like four wolves is just very cool and would have made a much more interesting story than creating 20 and using them as cannon fodder at the end. But oh well, what's done is done I suppose. The second thing I want to mention though is something that I haven't really seen anyone mention for some reason and that's that I really like how much better the women are written in the show compared to the book. Yes, there is far too much nudity in season one to make me comfortable, but whilst the plot of the books is really great, the female characters, with the exception of Ciri, who's 11, so she's really a child character more than a female character, if that makes sense, they're just awful. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no nice way to say it. They seem to run entirely on jealousy and internalised misogyny, and yes, the books were written in the 90s, but in book two, supposedly most people's favourite, like, Time of Contempt it's called, I have I have read all of that one, yeah. I thought I'd only read half of it. No, I finished it. And the back half is really good. But in the beginning, there's this gala, and it's about 20 pages of enchantresses just slut-shaming each other, and it was just not pleasant to read. Whereas I actually like all of the women in the show. In fact, it kind of passes the, uh, what I'm going to call the Mary Morstan test, which is that I like Yennefer despite the fact that she directly conflicts with my favourite ship. In fact, her and Geralt seem to have very little chemistry at all to me. Maybe it's just because it's all physical and I really can't relate to that, but her romance is kind of dead as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't it doesn't sell me. I get that they care about each other in, like, I, I don't even get it. I get that they probably cared about each other at some point, but we've never really seen any evidence of that at all. <laughs> And yet, despite the fact that I do not care at all about whether or not she gets with the guy, I like her as a character because she does other stuff, she exists on her own, and it's really nice, and it's just... Maybe I've not watched enough fantasy series, but it's really nice to see a fantasy series, like a high fantasy series, where the women are actually written quite well, and they feel like real people, and yes, if they could have kept their tops on a little bit more in the first series, I would have greatly appreciated it, but... Like, they actually all have their own stuff going on, and whether or not you agree with the plot, I think I just, I like that, and nobody seems to mention it. Maybe it's because most of the reviews seem to be by people who've played the games. Let's not talk about the comparison between the games. <laughs> I've not played the games. I've heard they're very, very good, but the, the women are all dressed in stupidly inappropriate clothes, so maybe that's why nobody's brought it up, but I've never seen anybody bring it up, and I felt like I couldn't make a video. <laughs> doing Witcher fan art without mentioning that the women are actually written really well and for some reason everybody's slating because it it's a terrible adaptation. It's like, this is one of the things they changed that I'm really glad they changed because I don't hate the female characters and that's just so nice for me. And typically I said I wasn't going to talk much about the show and I've now spent like half of my typical video time talking about it. But oh well! <laughs> so into the actual drawing. The first thing I want to mention is how proud I am of the anatomy in this piece. Upon a second viewing I have noticed that Geralt's head is probably slightly too big and out of proportion, but apart from that, which you don't notice unless I point it out, I think they all look really good, particularly the legs which is something I tend to struggle more with, and I think I got the way that Geralt and Yaskia's legs overlap looking really quite natural in the end. It took a while, but it looks really good now and I'm super proud of myself for that. I was also super impressed because for the first time ever I produced a drawing that has better line art than the sketch looked. Usually the sketch is always the best, but the line art looked really nice. I actually tried a new line art method in this drawing and it worked really well. 
I tried using a softer pencil for a change and then just varying my line weight more and like filling in little corners and spending time like layering the line up making it a bit more fancy than simple line and I think it looks really good. I even got the hands looking decent which you know doing line art on the hands they always end up looking a bit chunky and I knew that they were really important in this piece because obviously is supposed to be playing the lute which means it has to actually look like he's playing it and I'm just really proud of how it worked out. That said, I will admit that I know very little about lutes, and I think this one is probably a little bit too big for a standard lute. Also, the pattern on it isn't quite perfect, but I didn't really have the patience to copy it out perfectly, and it was kind of hard to do it perfectly, so I was just... I did a rough approximation of the pattern, and we'll, we'll leave it at that. Now, the weak part of this drawing is definitely the background. Feel free to pretend that you are at all surprised that I can't draw backgrounds. I knew how I wanted it to look in my head, like the field full of buttercups or yaskias, um, and the flower crowd to tie everything in, and I think the actual composition looks quite good, but the shading of the background just didn't quite work the way I wanted. I still haven't really worked out how to draw things like a field of grass, which is a field of tiny tiny objects, without spending six years on it and still have it look good. As always though, if you've got any tips on how to draw backgrounds, particularly things like grass, moss, random rocks, feel free to drop them in the comments because I have no idea and all the help is appreciated. Speaking of shading though, I am so hecking proud of the shading on this. Maybe I've been watching too much of Oliver's antics videos, but I started doing my highlights similar to the way he does by bringing them right up next to the shadows and it made such a difference. Before the only part of my characters that, well I highlighted at all, but that had any depth to them were the face and the hair, but the clothes here look so good now. I think it's because I did decide to highlight them, I haven't ever really bothered with highlights on clothes except maybe a rim light, and I think actually doing proper highlights has worked really well and I'm really happy with it. The only slight letdown of course is Yaskia's coat, which doesn't have quite the right texture because it's meant to be kind of leathery, I think maybe a sharper highlight would work better but I couldn't get it sharp without it looking wrong so it kind of sucks because I absolutely love that coat if I got sucked into a magical fantasy world right now which you know if any magic fantasy portals are out there please suck me into a magical fantasy world I would very much appreciate it um <laughs> I would dress exactly like Yaskia uh, I also really like his outfit from the season one of the episode with the dragon hunt with like the shoulder pads and like all his jackets are cropped and it's, it's just got a very good sense of style and I like it. I also managed to get his boots looking really cool which they're pretty standard kind of pirate style boots if you know what I mean with like the cuff at the top but they look really good I've used them on one of my characters since then and I just got all the line art working on the boots really well and I'm very proud of it. In fact, I just love the costumes in this show as a whole. It's given me a whole load more confidence to create outfits that I think look good for my own story without worrying too much about a vague sense of historical accuracy. Particularly as my story doesn't have a definite time period, Yennefer's dresses in particular have so many variations and really work to help tell what state her character's in. I love the thing they did with the eye makeup I noticed. Well, I think I noticed somebody else mentioning it but her eyeshadow is much heavier when she has her powers than when she doesn't and I think that's just like a really cool little detail and for the eyeshadow it makes her look scary when she doesn't have it she looks much more human and ordinary which kind of works with the whole witch versus non-witch thing it's very fancy it's a lovely little detail you know this is why I like building characters so you can put the little stuff in and it's very cool and I like it unfortunately I'm not entirely happy with Yen in this drawing I think it's just because her face isn't showing, it's hard to get the body language for her right, so she looks a little bit out of place, but I did my best, and her hair was super fun to draw. I really love the fact that all these characters have long hair, because I'm so much better at drawing long hair, and it was so much fun, I really like the highlights I put in uh, Geralt's hair, they work particularly well there. I always try to put a little bit of extra highlighting stuff, but I think it worked best in Geralt's, and it's just, it's very cool. I like drawing hair, hair's fun. <laughs> But anyways, that is about everything I wanted to cover in this video, I think. As always, please leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you've got time, I would absolutely love some constructive criticism or suggestions for what to include in or how to improve future videos. Also, my second sketchbook is now actually finished. As you might have noticed on my Instagram, I've started posting third sketchbook photos. 
So hopefully I will be able to fill that sketchbook tour sometime soon. I've got quite a bit of time this week, so maybe one morning I'll actually get up whilst there's still decent light coming in through my window and film that for you guys. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.